Hey YouTube, Pipe Lawyer here, coming to you from Tobacco World, where I am relaxing, uh, got done with work, did my running around, and uh, <clears throat> I just want to make a video, uh, because Tobacco Burner made a video a couple of weeks ago on the topic of what is it that makes a pipe a good smoker in its owner's eyes. And I, I posted a reply to his video, and but it, it planted a seed in my mind about ex what exactly it is that makes a pipe a favorite to its owner, and what makes it a uh, an especially good smoker. And um, you know, of course, things like you know the the aesthetics, you know, if it's your favorite shape, uh, how good of a draw, uh, how well it maintains um, a, uh, a, a, a burn, for, for lack of a better term, uh, how long it keeps the blend, it contains lit, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I personally go for, you know, the fun factor, you know, if it's a, if, if it's a fun pipe to smoke. And uh, part of it goes uh, with me anyway, in terms of uh, shape, size, and of course, you know, the particular blend that I'm smoking it. But that said, I'm smoking a cigar today because I want to feature uh, three of the pipes in my rotation that I consider to be a, uh, very good smokers. And what I like to do is offer a, a short series of the pipes in my collection that I consider to be especially good smokers. So, here's the first three. And as you can see, I've tried to create somewhat of a museum-like display. For aesthetic value. These are three pipes from my collection that I consider to be especially good smokers because uh, they look good, well actually they, they look great, they smoke great and by that I mean they they don't get too hot uh, regardless of how quickly I puff. Uh, they maintain a very very good taste <clears throat> and uh, size very very important to me when I smoke a pipe usually I, I try to do it with at least two hours time so I can just kick back and take it easy and these are good sized pipes to do that with instead of having to constantly you know repack them relight them tamp them and then relight them again these are very good smokers in that doing those kinds of things aren't that frequent the first one I you see me feature in previous videos is my Boswell Om Paul. Uh, this was a special request, custom made pipe for me. Uh, it just looks great. I, I love the spot rustication that JM did on it. Love that style of stem. That's like a modified saddle stem, which I love. I, I think it just gives it very classy old world feel to it. Excellent pipe. Smokes great, smokes long, smokes cool. And uh, because it's got the round chamber there, it's, it's just wonderful to hold on to and it fits very nicely into my hand. So that's the first good smoker, or great smoker, of my uh, rotation I want to show you. The second one in the center is my Randy Wiley, which is a pipe that I got brand new off of eBay some time ago. It's like the Um Paul, uh, the Randy Wiley has been featured as an MVP on Friday Night Pipes previously. Uh, it's got that wild plateauing on, on the rim. Very easy draw. Uh, it's, what, it's what I would consider a free smoker. It, it just draws very freely, uh, breathes easily, and also does not get too hot. It's very nice. Um, you know, it, it from certain angles it, it can look a bit rough, but the way it smokes, uh, 
is inconsistent with, with the way it looks at certain angles. It just smokes very smoothly. Uh, very free smoking, free breathing, just as well as the Om Paul. And finally, for today, is the uh, Jumbo Boswell Chocolate Pipe, as I call it. And as you can see, it's packed with, uh, I think it's Majestic 586, and they'll be smoking later on today. And this is my very first Boswell Pipe. And, you know, it is, I, I, I'll put it down for a few weeks and then I'll pick it back up and I'll rediscover just how good of a smoker it is. This is one of those pipes that, you know, the more you smoke it, the, the nicer it gets. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's like wine. And I guess, <clears throat> you know, at, at the end of the day, when you have pipes like these that are so well made, where the quality of the briar is premium, where the draft holes are drilled perfectly, and all these little factors and circumstances that come into play and converge, you know, I think in inevitably, the longer you own the pipes and, and, and the more you smoke them, the better they uh, get. And, and the better smokers they become. And I guess at the end of the day, um, the ultimate test of what makes a pipe a great smoker is how, how well it improves after you've had it for some time. And these three pipes are just a small sample of the pipes that I have in my rotation that improve with time and age. So there you have it, my first three pipes of my rotation that I want to feature as great smokers in the great smoker series so I hope this gives you some food for thought uh, helps you to maybe consider and ponder exactly what it is about your pipes that makes them great smokers, um, and I would, I I would submit to you that it's something that's highly personal. For some, it may be the beauty of the pipe. For others, it may be how well it smokes after being smoked for months or years on end. Uh, it's highly personal. So, feel free to share with me what it is exactly that you find makes your best smokers your best smokers. All right, until then, this is Pipeler saying cheers. And remember, I'll present the evidence, but you be the judge. Take care and God bless, bye-bye.